Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Fujifilm X-Pro2 and Fujifilm X-T1. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Fujifilm X-Pro2 and the Fujifilm X-T1 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 15th of January 2016 and the 14th of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-Pro2. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-T1. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-Pro2 and the Fujifilm X-T1. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-Pro2. And here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T1. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-Pro2. I am a hobbyist photographer who has been using the Fujifilm X-Pro2 for everyday photography. The larger APS-C sensor and JPEG quality of this mirrorless camera attracted me, and I have been impressed with the image quality and tweakability for my JPEG shooting style. The 24-megapixel X-Trans 3 sensor, Acros film simulation, and 1/8000th shutter speed have been particularly useful for my photography. However, I have found the autofocus speed to be lacking and would like to see improvement in this area. Additionally, I have enjoyed the grain effect for JPEGs and the dual SD card slot for backup purposes. Overall, I am very happy with the X-Pro2 and look forward to continuing to use it. I have been a fan of the Fuji X-Series since I bought the X-E1, and the X-Pro2 was a great upgrade for me. The rangefinder format with an optical viewfinder is a standout feature, and the camera is built well and handles well. The X-Series system has proven its value over the years, and Fuji's commitment to regular firmware upgrades has dramatically improved performance. I have used my kit in demanding outdoor conditions, and it has always performed well. I am confident in the future of the X-Series line and will continue to be a loyal Fuji customer. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-T1. As a hobbyist photographer transitioning from film SLRs and DSLRs, I've been using the X-T1 for seven months. I chose it for its compact size, manageable weight, and excellent image quality. The EVF took some getting used to, but now I appreciate its benefits. The build quality is solid, and the controls, while taking time to adjust to, are well thought out. The, this Fujifilm X-T1 is a groundbreaking camera that I have thoroughly enjoyed using. It's compact, yet packed with advanced technology and features. The EVF is a major highlight, and the built-in Wi-Fi works flawlessly. The camera feels perfect in my hands, and the film simulation modes are a nice touch. The only downside is the flash system, and using non-dedicated glass with a lens adapter can be a bit tricky. Overall, it's a joy to use and produces detailed images. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Fujifilm X-Pro2. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Fujifilm X-T1. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 